Okay, uh, yeah. this is the system outside. Um, we have one pin here, and the other pin is over here, coming in back in through to the system with a spike gap. Um, the only difference here is uh, this um, by filer coil on the grenade, we're collecting the AC and rectifying it through two Schottky diodes back in through to the capacitor bank, which is in turn connected with the uh, input battery directly in through to the uh, pulse width modulator. And what I have found is um, we're getting an increase as well as having the uh, light in here. Um, so it's a, a positive step. The system is um, giving itself uh, some power. So I'll turn it on. There's a spark gap. Until we get resonance. And very slowly. Increasing. Well, we still have, I don't know if we can get it all in. Bounce again. The whole point to this setup is if this, if we have a decent spike, it will allow uh, a huge increase back into the grenade. Yeah, you see there was a large spike from 11 to 12. It's because the spike gap's uh, intermittent. See if we can uh, stimulate that spark again. The spark gap that will allow the uh, system to recuperate a hundred percent. Is uh, if you can see, eighteen watt. We're going down slightly. Let me stimulate. stimulates an increase.
next video with the uh, improved spike gap may help. Please comment.